Hi, it's Katrina. I'm actually very nervous about this video because this will be my first video on YouTube and the first video I will speak in English. Excuse me if I make mistakes because I'm still trying to improve my English skill. And so today's topic is about those confusing questions that was asked by foreigners as Chinese. So the first one is would I get arrested walking on straight with tattoos in China? No, you wouldn't. The reason they asked so, I think, was because some television shows in China would blur those tattoos on people's body. It may cause some misunderstanding. For make sure, they also asked, do I have any friends has tattoos? The answer is definitely yes. They are living fine here. But I haven't had connection with some of them. Hope they're not in jail yet. Sorry, just kidding. Hopefully. It's very acceptable for most of young people here nowadays. But at the same time, it may not look that friendly to older people if your body is mostly covered by tattoos. Then the second one, also the one I hate the most. Do you eat dogs? It's not only stereotype, it's also racism. It's like when people ask, How's your marriage life going with your cousin? When you're from some specific state. No, I don't eat dogs or cats. My friends, my parents, my grandparents either. And I have a cute boulder clay named Mango. I don't even consider to make friends with people who do eat dogs. It's really unacceptable for me personally. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist in China. No, it doesn't. But doesn't mean Chinese is the only one in the world who do that. No, obviously. It somehow becomes a label stick on Chinese. Like, explain me please if you do know how did it started. Third one, do you have McDonald's there? I can't live without it. Yes, we do. But what about KFC? Yes, we do. KFC, McDonald's, Burger King, you can easily find it almost everywhere. I almost thought he meant to insult me instead of asking questions if he didn't look and sound so sincere. Wait, was he? Next one is about dogs too. Are you able to keep a dog since you live in an apartment? So my apartment size is 130 square meters without the second floor. It's not really huge or fancy, but I can run around in my apartment. I think my dog too. I suppose. And you do walk your dog every day, right? Take them to some lawns to run around freely instead of keeping them inside. I hope. Next one. Am I rich in China based on 20,000 I earn per month? If you meant earn 20,000 in China, which is about 3,057 point four dollars surely you can live in a chill and a fine life in a small city because the living costs like my city for example wouldn't be really high but in big cities like shanghai beijing and so on it's kind of hard to see and it's a bit far from rich and the thing is living costs is very different in each country same to salaries compare how much you earn in higher living costs higher payment country to situation in china doesn't really make that much sense next one are you good at math <laughs> okay <laughs> This is actually stereotype as well, but I don't think most of Chinese would feel bad about it because it kind of sounds like a compliment. I honestly feel kind of sorry for this stereotype because if unfortunately you happen to be stuck in the same group with me at math class, you better pray 24-7 for us to not fail. Because the max I can do is try to cheer you up or tell you some jokes like Chinese mass material the whole time instead of doing some actual content thing. I used to good at math actually because my dad would help me a lot and my mother would work my ass hard on practicing until I met a math teacher in my primary school. She would call me stupid and all kind of harsh words. She really destroyed the interest I have on math and I lost my confidence on it and I just literally started 
hating math since then because of it no matter in middle school or high school i would just gave up at the first place because i was convinced that I was stupid it's pretty sad i really hope all of you guys can meet really nice teachers to really help you out so yeah no i'm not good at math but many of my classmates were but it also based on like hard working and practicing hope you can consider it in two how long time have you been learning english this isn't a confusing question but i was asked a lot so i thought i should also add this question in this video it really depends on how you say the meaning of using english if you meant to do some tasks uh write some short essay and maybe listen to some short conversation i just say from primary school to university it's about like 15 or 16 years of course there are many talented ones but as you can notice many chinese are not able to communicate in english fluently even if offer such a long time english learning importantly we don't use english that much in our daily life cartoons movies and such we watched when we were kids were voice covered translated in Chinese totally. YouTube, Netflix, Instagrams and such are not very commonly used in China either. So the language environment isn't that friendly for it. Other than that, most of English we learn in school will be called textbook English. Something like, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, and you? That's exactly the same way kids here would learn in school. That's the reason some of us are able to communicate in English, but some can that are unnatural like when you study chinese totally from textbooks you would learn many words that we don't really use in daily life or already out of date a very classic example Ni hao ma. Most of Chinese learners would greet to me like that. It's kind of like how are you in English. But every time I'd be stuck there for a while not sure how to reply to it because we don't say ni hao ma yuli. If you are interested in this textbook Chinese you may know that we don't really use in our daily life and how do we really do it. Um, please subscribe this channel. I will make videos about topics to explain you with details soon. Back to the topic. Does it mean like what we learned in school is completely useless? Obviously, no, it's very important too. What teachers told us from school is like the foundation of a building. It just makes sure you build this building correctly and stably. But how to decorate this building in a way you like is completely on yourself, which means how do you study or learn English out of school? I noticed most people I know who are not native English speakers, but surprisingly good or even fluent at English was improved from like uh, gaming, watching videos, communicating with like English speakers and so many other ways if they have never studied abroad. So if you mean to communicate with others, I would say two years. And last one, this is a very interesting one. Is it true that Chinese girls are too lazy to cook and so on? Their boyfriends have to do everything for them. And what shocked me was this this information he was told by a chinese you guys may not know me that well yet i have a really strong personality and I'm very independent i started living by myself since like middle school or something i can cook and i can clean just remind me some song you know i can do most of things by myself and i wouldn't let my boyfriend does everything for me you know there's people like they don't do anything in their life and they're always got some other people to help them out there's people like this everywhere and i'm sure there's people and or girls like this here too but it doesn't mean every Chinese girl are like that. So based on those girls I know, none of them would really let their boyfriend to do everything for them. And none of them are seriously lazy to be honest. Some people would think Chinese women would like do everything for their husband even wash their husband's feet and everything like that some of them would think like chinese girls are super lazy they don't do anything just super extreme there were some brazilian guys like two of them straightly told me Brazilian guys don't do anything at home. Their girlfriend, their wives, their mothers would do everything for them. But 
it turned out not true. That means there are so many different kind of people in every country. There are lazy ones, normal ones, and extremely hardworking ones. You cannot really um because there's one person like really lazy, so you would say people from the whole country is really lazy. It doesn't work like that. But I have to make this clear that why they would have this kind of impression their Chinese boyfriend would do everything for them because Chinese guys are really sweet. I'm not gonna lie about it. Now this on the internet always have some a different sex hate or something like that like girls would hate guys guys would hate girls i wouldn't just randomly shit talk about them just because of those kind of things they are really sweet they really care about details and they would love to help you out and at the same time some guys would really spoil their girlfriend they would love to do all the things for her not really because his girlfriend super lazy and such Chinese guys can really do great job as a boyfriend or husband so if you're interested in a Chinese guy don't hesitate they are really sweet and nice gonna treat you well if you meet the right person of course there are assholes everywhere but in general they are really nice guys if you have other questions I didn't mention in this video please comment below the video I will make a new one to answer your questions and I will be so glad to receive save your comments and the stories you want to share if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget about subscribe and turn on the bell if you are interested in chinese language culture and so on wait is that called bell thank you for watching today's video and i probably already want to go outside now your likes your subscribe and your support means so much to me hope you have an amazing day and you're beautiful today i will see you in my next video bye bye